Bar Local sponsors the Park Drive Drama. Unmissable deals every single week in your local spa. Well, how do you think I'm going to break it to Martin? Break it to what? Is here now. Oh, um, Martin, love, I think yeah. you better sit down. Can you just give us a bit of space, De Derek, love? Yeah, babe, I'll be back in a minute. Yeah. Uh, can you shut the doors, please? Thank you, love. I've already done it. So, Martin, love. Yeah. I, 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 I just want you to know that no matter what happens, I'll always love you. Right okay, down to the art. Well, you see, you know, Wait, you know, I was hearing these, hearing these, these voices the other day. Yeah. Well, D D Derek booked me in at the doctor's, you know, just to see if I'm okay. Yeah. And I've I've got two ill two two ill two, two illnesses, Martin Love. Two two illnesses. They're not serious, are they? Well, the one of them they can find a cure. The second one That's good. They can't find a cure. Wait, what? It's not serious though. Well, is well, it? one of my ill one of my illnesses is called speaking to the dead syndrome. It means where if I get a lot of stress, you know, basically what I'm trying to say is, is this is basically caused by Steve Woods love because he's given us a lot of stress and it's caused me to go mental in the brain and think that people are, are speaking to me who are dead. Oh, fucking cunt, I'm going to teach that shit in a lesson. But, but there's another realness, Martin love, another realness. One that they can't yeah. cure. It's not like cancer or anything, is it? No, but it can have some side effects like cancer can. Meaning oh God. that it's the meaning that it can short it can shorten your lifetime, Martin Love. In other words, I think you can work it out. I've got I have got the the, the illness what starts with a D. Oh, not dementia. Not just dementia, Martin, love. Vascular dementia, love. <sighs> meaning, that, meaning that I can only have weeks. I can only have months. No, you can't say that, Noreen. <laughs> or I You're can only woman. have years. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Noreen, I'll tell you no. I'll tell you no, Martin, love. <laughs> I might not have long Sorry. left, but we've got to make well, this we're the- We're gonna get through this, yeah? We're gonna make this the best time ever, Martin, love it. <laughs> we're all gonna be <laughs> here for you, Oh, I know, Martin, love. <laughs> Give me a hug. Oh, I think there was a knock at the door, love. <laughs> not now. I'll go and get it. <laughs> oh, Marcus, love. Uh, hello? Oh, oh no, please, please, please do come in, please co come in, come What's in, in. come in, sit down, sit down, love, sit down, take a what? seat, here we go, <laughs> there <it> love, <laughs> there's Marcus here to see you, no, yeah, you I'm ready to hear you, oh, oh, Thanks for the tissue, Martin. <laughs> oh, are, are you all right? Oh, it, it's 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 all it's it's all good, Marcus. Love, really. Nothing to worry you. you sure? right? Nothing to worry right, you at son. the moment. Okay. Hello. Right, son. Yeah. Yeah. De Derek came to knock at your house the other day. He said the lights were on, but no one was in. 
Oh yeah, I left my lights on now. I went for a business trip. Oh, yeah, you should have said. I know you, it was last minute and I couldn't you, you should, drink any more. Right really now. good then, son. You should have said Marcus Love, because as you know, you never know. Time's so short nowadays, especially for some. You, you've got to let you've got to let people know these things, and you, you I know. Had to get like clothes together and things. So. Oh, oh well, did, did you have a good business trip? Yeah, it's okay. It's work. So. Well, make sure you have many business trips if that's what you yeah. enjoy. <laughs> Anyway, Ma anyway, Martin, love, don't you go worrying about what we spoke about. Yeah. It's, I it's just don't know how to wrap it around my head. It's gonna be fine, Martin, love, I tell you, it, it's gonna be fine. Anyway, who wants some homemade pancakes? I made a batch this morning. Yeah. Alright, come through. To Gordon Ramsay's kitchen. No, it's Norian's kitchen, you silly old hag. I know, I was joking. Ryan? Hi, bro. Oh, you're Ryan, man. Jesus Christ. I only found out you've been arrested. Well, to be honest, I've had a lot to sort out. Yeah. I'm, I got out. I got out, Ryan, bro. I didn't end up going to jail. I'm probably gonna end up going to jail, though. Bro, I got two years community service and a fifteen grand fine to pay for the whatever the damage would have been at Noreen's house. And where are you gonna get that money from? Well, you see, what I have to do is save up my wages. I'm hopefully starting a job soon in a pub. Mm. Doing a bit, doing a bit of bar work, bro. Like literally, oh, right, like, nice. um, you know, Oak Manor where Mary and Jamie used to live. Oh yeah. Hey, didn't you tap Mary? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Till she shot you in the leg, bro. <laughs> yeah, that. Uh, have you saw the scar? Look, look at, look at the. Look at the scar look on my leg. There. Jesus Christ! Anyway, you better sit down because they might not want you. They might not want you dancing about and doing the karaoke in here. <laughs> I don't think it's a school mm. disco, bro. Um, but yeah, man, like, yeah, they let they let me off. But anyway, yeah, you know Oak Manor where Mary and Shadow lived. Well, yeah. obviously, um, um, Jamie still owns the technical rights to it, so. He's actually turning it into a bar, and he said that I could do some hours there and have have the bar, have the flat above for a place for me to live. Oh, that's good. So if you do get out, bro, don't work well, cuz, actually, um, there will be a flat with a spare room and a job for you behind the bar. No, yeah, that'll be good. I mean, I don't, well, actually, I don't know if Jamie will like that, considering you absolutely tortured his truck. <laughs> but mm -hmm. I'm sure I'll be able to get you in. Um, people. I saw Jamie for a while. No, he might come and visit you one day. I don't know. I don't know. Like, yeah. no, there's there's a lot there's a lot being going down actually, bro, outside of prison. It? It's surprising. It's surprising how much you miss actually. <laughs> you miss loads. I tell you, bro. Mm -hmm. um, Oh, I don't. Oh, I don't know actually. She's probably just oh, visiting. Look, yeah. Huh? Oh, I don't know. She's probably just visiting someone else. To be fair. Um. Yeah. Thing. Some. Yeah. Some stuff's gone down, bro. Like. Anyway, people won't aren't really up for forgiving me. Yeah. But well, well. Um. Steve. Uh. Not Steve. That's my name. What? What? What the f am I saying? Um. <laughs> Paul, <laughs> nah. <laughs> um, Paul, um, Paul said that maybe in time he'd forgive me if if I'm a good boy and I be and I behave myself. Yeah. And um, Martin is back again. 
and mm -hmm. he's not up for any forgiveness. He wants to... In, in other words, this is exactly what he said. He said, he, he said he's I never going to accept my apology, and if I don't start, stop harassing him, he's going to rip my fucking little head off. I think it's, I don't know if, uh, if Martin's okay with me or not. Probably not, bro. I mean, you mowed his mum's cafe down in an SBSC truck, and now you're in prison waiting for a court date, but... Hey, hmm. bro. I, I killed a daughter and paralysed someone's legs nearly and injured a ton of other people. And I got let off, so there's a chance you might get let off, bro. <coughs> Probably not. Anyway, bro, I've got to go because I uh, don't want to be late to community sure. service. Um, oh, I've got to go back to my cell now, anyway. Oh, Jesus, bro. Well, I'll try and visit you again soon. Yeah. Like, you know... And don't worry, bro, I'm going to do everything I can to get you on the outside. Yeah. Here, knuckle touch. That's my cousin. Apart from know, last bro. time we did that, you was playing with a toy train on a car road, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Catch you in a bit. See you in a bit. Harrison, what a marvellous thing you've done here so far. Mm -hmm. It all I looks like realized. one big place. I've mm -hmm. just done something wrong. Oh, what was that? I fitted the window, but I've realised I've got to take it out, actually. Well, I have you know, it looks a bit like the Windows PC logo, you know, the colours of it, I mean. Um, but it mm -hmm. looks nice. It does. Looks nice, yes. I'm... I've taken the towel down. Well, yes, yes, I saw, I saw you were up there <laughs> taking taking some bricks out earlier, get, getting your hands in there, get, getting mucky, you know, yes, yes. Oh, Ooh, yeah, uh, that's what I like to do. Yes, we Yeah, so we know. I've got to take that down and then I can start taking this part of the wall down and replacing it well I must say up. Harrison you're doing a splendid job and Jesus and God will be looking down at you now and saying what a pro builder just, rem I've just remember Harrison you are building in the spiritual place of the the church yep so anyway I better be on my way I'm going to be um making some new hymn books but i've got to go and get the pages printed off because okay. you see i want uh, everything new in here from bibles to hymn books hymn books yeah. to bells bells to crosses crosses to seats we're really making this church a good go yeah well um i'm gonna go back up and start taking some yes more yes down. and uh, so as well. i say um re you've remembered to keep the the kettle and that in so you can make yourself a brew a cup of cha a cup of yeah, tea the yes. Over there somewhere. yes that's good then um i will uh, leave i'll leave you to it i'll probably call back later and see how you're getting on you know yep uh cool I'll, uh, talk and, to you uh, and and oh, if you do want to oh, uh, right. come to uh, church service on Sunday, it will be held in a little chapel just outside of Park Drive. So those of okay. them who don't want to miss the church on Sunday can still come. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. I'll see you later. Well, um, yeah. I'll see you. Go again, Derek Love. I got. I don't know. You just walked out the door a minute ago. I hope he ain't gone to get the doctor some grief. Nah, I don't think so. I think he's just having a moment. Well, it was shocking news for him. Yeah. What, what, what news? Look, he it's nothing. Told me. Look. Oh, Mark. <laughs> All right, well, the thing is, Marcus, look, Derek will tell you later in a man to man talk. Okay. It, yeah, I'm, I'm really not, well. I'm really not, I've told a few people now and it, it's getting to the point where it, <coughs> it's just upsetting me, Marcus, love, and, you know. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna go and get a bath and, 
have a shift, you yeah. know, and shave me fanny, so I'll, I'll call Paul and he might come down. No, Ian. Yes, love. Stop talking about shaving fannies. Nobody's meant to know about that. Oh, I'm sorry, Derek. Love, it slipped out. Not in front of my boys. Sorry. Paul, love, your brother's here to see you. You know what? Paul here. <laughs> yeah, he's just he's just coming up there. Oh, yeah, yeah. What a filthy cow she is. <laughs> I know. Uh, Fucking, what's she on about on. shaving her fanny? Come on, we've got it. Me and you are good to the pub. Come on, and you. Come on. We'll get into that pub as well. Uh, does Marcus know about Norwin? No. Uh, what I what what's happening? Like I don't I don't get Come it. On. Come on, I, 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 we'll go to the pub and we'll tell you all about it. Oh. Hi, uh, how are you doing? Ah, oh, good. Um, yeah, um, I've had um, I've had an email to say that some letters about home insurance have been delivered to my house, but um, you see, the thing is, is there's been a little bit of um, a going on. I've just come. Uh, back out from being with the police um, I didn't go down on my court date and um, I don't have a proper address at the moment because I'm staying at a and b until I get sorted in this flat so um, I just need to let you know that if I if it all pulls through when I get into this flat then I'll need to change my address um, so you can start sending letters um, to the new address and um, I got a letter about car insurance um, renewal like ready for me to um, pay me car insurance but um, I've never drove a car before because my mum and dad died in a car accident and it put me off driving I've never had car insurance in all my life um, I mean um, I mean um, you know so I need to get that sorted so I'm not paying um, any car insurance because um, I obviously don't own a car like I say and uh, obviously we need to get all these uh, letters sorted um, oh so I need to go to the bank for some of them right well yeah I can, I can nip to the bank today That that's no issue uh, getting to the bank um, is fine I should have some I should have a bit of coinage in my ass pocket for the bus. Um, Alright, well, um, thanks, and uh, you do your bit. I'll go to the bank and get them to do their bit, and you and the bank can meet in, can meet in the middle. So I'll catch you in a bit then. Cheers, thanks for your help. Oh, you know, just before I go, how much is this knick-knack on the shelf? Like, I was looking at it the other day when I came in. Ah, uh, oh, is it that price? Well, if it's still here at the weekend, I might snap you a deal and buy it, because um, it looks quite nice, and um, I know just the person who would want it, you see. So, anyway, yeah, I'll see you later. <laughs> Cheers, dude. Keep it real, keep it sweet. Yeah, yeah, go and get a beer, man. Just go yeah. over there and um, ask Dave. Hello? Hello? Yeah, can I have uh, three pints, please? Uh, yeah, of course. What would you like? We've got um, Foster's. Yeah. 1964. My goodness, Dave. Well, uh, you, want, you want Guinness, Derek? Yeah. Alright, coming up. Oh, that Dave, that Dave's a nice geezer, isn't he? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Anyway, Paul. Yeah? I've got something to tell you when um, Marcus comes back. Yeah, man, yeah. Thanks. Oi, ain't you gonna pay for those? 
Sorry. Oh, cheers, man. What about this? Thanks, you. Enjoy your beer. Yeah, we will, man. So, what? what is this? Come on, I just need to know. Right, I really need you both to sit down. Yep. Right. No, we, we, me and Nori went to the doctor's yesterday. Uh huh. And, uh, um, there's a bit of a problem with her. No, it isn't. Yeah, she's got um, dementia and she could only last up to a couple of weeks or a couple of months or a couple of years. Hopefully it's a couple of years because I really love this woman. Mm -hmm. But, you know, as, you, as um, Paul heard her the other day, she was talking to herself. Okay. Talking to other characters, um, talking to Lisa. Yeah, and Shirley. Well, yep. we're going to have to start looking after Noreen now. Because it's just going to get worse uh, day by day, Marcus. Yeah, it's going to get worse. I'm going to tell you this. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, look Marcus. at that, mate. Look, my beer, all gone. Nice. Yeah. You're a quick drinker, you are, kid. Yeah, who wants another one? Yeah, go on. Yeah, fine. Another Guinness? Yeah. Hey, Dave. Yes, Paul? Uh, same again, please. Okay, coming up. Wait, what's this little fucker going outside for when the beer's here? Ah. Uh. Ah, thank you. How much? Three fifty. Uh, I'll pay you in a minute. You really need me to get my wallet out again, kid. No, no, no. I've got money on me. I just it's in loose change. I can't be bothered to. Anyway, day one, What's up? Um, I want you to pay me now, because I don't want you just running off. Okay, 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 I'll pay now, I'll pay now. There you go. All good? No, no, Dave, he's paid. What? Oh, it's a change lot, kid. Anyway. Oh, yeah, it's giving you his change. Right. Oh, oh, cheers. Okay. Cheers. Uh, cheers. Right, cheers for the beer, Dave. That's right, no right. problem. Have a good day. Yeah, and you, man. Take care. Come on, then, boys. We've got yeah, and you. Where, where are we going now? I don't know. I don't know. Your, your cell is down here. This, this cell here. Uh, ah, hello, yes. Mr. Woods. This the is old your cell. Cell mate. Okay. Hello. Uh, Hello. Uh, we will. Uh, if you want anything, uh, you know what to do. See you guys yeah. later. See ya. So, what is your name? Uh, my name is uh, Ryan. What's yours? My name. They call me the Oracle Big Toe, but you can call me Jeff. Oh, uh, uh, guys, yeah. guys, uh, sorry, but, uh, uh, Ryan, this, uh, was just, uh, this is for you. I don't know what it's about, just, uh, yeah. Good luck, guys. Uh, yes, they call me the Oracle Big Toe, but you can call me Jeff. Oh, yeah, and welcome I... to the worst place. I've been in here mm. before. And I just want yeah. you to know that if you give me any lip, I'll put you straight on your ass. Oh, okay. I want you to know that this is like a second home to me. I'm in an altavia because I can't behave. Well, what do you get in here for this time? Oh, well, you know. 
just did the old Jimmy Savile and raped a few children. Oh. Stabbed a woman and stole a car. It was a very nice car. It was a noble RS. I crashed it into the side of Kingston City Police Station. Uh, ex excuse me, Mr. Mr. Jeff. Yes. Uh, I have just got uh, some information that uh, you're supposed to be in a in a maximum security cell. Yes. Well, I'll go wherever you want me to go. Uh, sorry, Mr. Woods. Uh, just uh, follow me, and uh, I will take yeah, you with. Uh, see you soon, Mr. Woods. <coughs> Thank God for that. I don't want to be in a cell with him. How you feeling, um, son? Yeah, I'm feeling alright. But what we're we gonna do? I don't know. Anyway, where's Marcus? Uh, he said he's either. Gonna go. He's gone swimming, and then gonna jump in the shower. Oh, fair enough. Anyway, Marcus. I mean, Paul. I'm yeah. losing it now. Can you go yeah. to the catalog and see where Noreen is? Yeah, we'll do, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Noreen. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Derek wants you. Who? Derek. Oh, was he? When is the Tom? He's in the front room. What? I don't like this. This isn't meant to be my house. It is. He's in the front room. No, no, no. That's not right. I live above the cafe, love. No, you don't. No, no. He's in the they, front they, room. I'm telling you now, Paul. Love. No, not they, out they. there. No, no. They... Sorry, come here. Yeah, I, I live above. Who are you? I don't want some random man like. touching me. I live above the cafe. This is wrong, love. No, no, How do you know my name? Look, look, look. I'll call the police, love. Come and sit down. I don't want to sit down. I want to go home above the cafe, love. Come and sit down. I need to tell you something. What? Remember that film, Fifty Shades of Grey? What's that got to do with being in a random place? I shouldn't be no, no, here. No, no, listen. Listen. <laughs> do you what? remember no. Fifty Shades of Grey? Yes, love. Well, they bought another one out called Fifty Shades of Grey Darker. And I want to take you to go see it. Oh, you do? Yeah. I don't Take want to go. Off this. I don't want to go with you. I want to go with my husband, Martin. Martin's your son, you silly old car. What? Well, oh, aye, it is, isn't it? Yeah, I'm your husband to be, Derek. No, no, that can't be right. I'll, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go with my sister Lisa instead, <laughs> and, and my uncle Billy. They, they, they'll be right. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. You, you just confuse it. You're just confusing me now, whoever you claim to be. Yeah, you're sending my head into a spazzy tickle. Oh, I. Oh, where's my boys when I need them? Look, just take these tablets and have a sleep. <laughs> and then you'll take me home above the cafe. No, you're already at home. I'm guessing the point is you want me to live here, but you won't tell me that. Noreen, you do live here. Well, I suppose it is a pretty big nifty mansion, love. Yeah. Are you trying oh. to get with me or something? Because I say you are a charmer. But what's your name Noreen. again? Noreen, my name's Derek. Johnson. Oh, Derek. I, I used, I used to have a school teacher called Derek. We called him Dickie Derek. Really? Good Aye. For him. Anyway. I'm Derek Johnson, my sweetheart. You oh, know. are you some relation to Paul then? I know him. He's the builder. He lives opposite the cafe, you know. Yeah. 
He's my son. Oh, you're his dad, are you? Oh, hey. Yeah. God. So when did you yeah, come on the scene? Oh, my word. Oh, your word? No, Derek, love. I'm having my word. Listen. I am listening with both Norrin. ears, love. Norrin, Norrin, you're suddenly starting to piss me off a bit here, yeah? Listen. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, love. I mean, me I mean... And you, me and you, I've been, you know... You mean, you mean we did it? Yeah, I've been <laughs> in your hole and you've sat on my pole. Oh, well, <laughs> I must have had a few to drink last night. I don't remember. Oh, no, really. Do you really want me to sit you upstairs and show you how it's done? Well, I mean, I could do with a good scene, to. Well, guess what? Your looks in get upstairs, you dead. If you only bit. if you piggyback me. Okay. Get on. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go and have a nice pucker, Sani. Hi, hi. Hello there. Jesus Christ, man. Don't mess with you. Hey, what's that? Jesus Christ. What's with your voice, man? Don't judge my voice. Jesus Christ, man. Like, j just get me a sign. <laughs> Just get me a sandwich and do it quietly. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You sound like a girl getting it. Here you go. Sound. Oh, Derek. What are you doing in here? Excuse me. You got a sandwich. Excuse oh. me. Um, what's going down with Norin? Pay me. Oh. Nah, man, it's cool yeah, if you don't want to tell me, judging what I've done. Yeah, I'm not like, I'm not gonna say anything. Anyway, kid, grow some balls. You got a squeaky voice. Oh God. <laughs> I, I thought I thought you'd usually. Uh, I thought fuck I thought. Off. Right off you, kid. Yeah, anyway, Derek, I thought you'd be upstairs ragging Noreen around like a 125cc bike. No, a 125? Is that it? Oh, alright then, well, Derek, like Jesus Christ. Nah, 1000cc. Hey, 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 I forgot the Ard family was out there, man. And you fucking know it. Yeah, 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 I do know it. I mean... Anyway, Paul. Paul, Paul, Paul. Paul. Yeah. No. Yeah. Come on, you boys in yellow. We may be in yellow like that, but do you know what I mean? I ain't a fucking Norwich City fan. You look like the Simpsons. Yeah, that's right. Shoot your toy Nerf guns. Nerf guns? Look, look, look. I ain't taking no shit from a little kid Look, here. look, I offered to be civil, so if you want to start wars, that's not my doing. You want a war? No, I don't want a war. Man. Listen, old man, go collect your pension and your smell of wrinkly old doggy breath. Right, I think we need to get, I think we need to get marks in here. We'll oh, that's yeah. Right, cause, oh, that's right, because I know where he's, he's going to be living anyway, so oh, just yeah. sleep with one eye open. Oh, yeah, and just to let you know, Derek... I know exactly what's matter with Noreen, and every time someone mentions she may only have weeks left, I get excited in my stomach like I'm gonna throw a party. Now do one, old man. 
Oh! 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 Get off me! Ah! 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 Leave it, leave it. Who asked you to join in your squeaky? Who asked you to join in your squeaky ass motherfucker? Yeah, grow some balls, you fucking squeaky little cunt. <coughs> right, let's go. Look, he's got loads oh. of blood coming out. Let's leave him. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Run, run. <coughs> Do you know the good thing is, there's no cameras there either. Spa Local sponsors the Park Drive drama. Unmissable deals every single week in your local spa.